go ahead. Today I am doing a collab with the beautiful Angie from For Beauty and Lifestyle and the gorgeous Nona from My So Called Life 1977. And we've done a few of these collabs where we are trying out the nine pan ColourPop palettes and doing different challenges with them. So um, I will leave a link down below to the little playlist of the different ones we've had. So if you've got some of these palettes, you might get some ideas on things you can do with them or just to play with them or just to watch our videos. <laughs> so today we are doing the Aha Honey palette. And the challenge today is we can number the palette any way we want. And then we have to flip a coin, which I have here. So this is a New Zealand 50 cent piece. So tails, it's heads. And we have to flip a coin and heads is even numbers and tails is odd numbers. And so whatever you get, you can, um, that's what you have to use even odd numbers. And um, you can number the palette any way you want to. But um, unless you actually number it in a very strange way, it's all going to be the same with even an odd that I can tell. Okay, so I'm going to flip a coin. Let me do that again. I, I dropped it. I was trying to show you what I got. Okay. So I got tails. So. If I just number, if I have my palette just numbered normally, I decided to do it anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'm going one, three, five, seven, and nine. So those are my colors. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. So I have to use the glitter today. <laughs> And you will be hoping she gets even numbers so she doesn't have to use the glitter. She doesn't like using the glitter. <laughs> Um, so basically, it's all mattes that I've got, except for the shimmer, uh, except for the glitter. So this could be interesting. <laughs> Quick thing, and I think I know what I want to do. Um, I'm going to make a nice clean brush, because I've got purple and blue on my other brushes, and I don't want that with my yellow. So I'm going to go in with Totally Bugging. First, I'm going to put that in my crease. I feel like these colours are way more yellow than you think they're going to be because it looks quite browny in the pan. But for my eyes, it looks way more bright, I, I think. Hopefully you'll be able to see properly because it's the afternoon here and um, the light comes in here in the afternoon and I usually shoot in the morning. Is it better? That's better, isn't it? So I just played with the white balance of it because um, I usually shoot in the morning so the sun's not streaming in this room because it gets too hot for a start but also does funny things with the lighting <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the stinger which is this colour here and so even that colour that looks really kind of a dark cream but it's definitely yellow on my eyes. I think that's why I like this palette so much because although it looks quite neutral in the pan, it's actually a lot more pigmented than you think. And then I'm going to go in with Buzzkill, which is the darkest colour. Clean up a little. So I'm just using a cotton bud and some micellar water. I'm going to go into sweet spot. Oh, I don't think I dried that properly because it's going on patchy. <laughs> but that's my fault. It's not the shadow's fault. But it's okay because I'm just going back into Buzzkill, which was that brown, because 
apparently I'm just in a messy makeup mood and I'm making a mess and not being very careful. It doesn't matter with these colours. Because they will all blend in together anyway. I think it looks like I was really tidy now. No, it wasn't. Got a little bit of fallout because I was not being careful <laughs> and I was packing it on. Okay, on a little brush. I'm gonna go in with my glitter glue and I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. glitter glue. All the um, shadow is coming off with the glitter glue. So that's not very helpful. <laughs> but there's not much I can do about it. And the size decided it doesn't like the glitter glue. a tiny bit. My, um, my eyes are quite sensitive to stuff and usually they're fine but you get into hay fever season and they just get extra sensitive to everything. It's not too bad it's just I can feel it itching a little bit. And then um, I, I will go in with my silicon brush and I'm going to go into Palooza which is that glitter. And try anyway. And put it all over me. <laughs> so I have so got glitter. All over me, we're just going to pretend that um, I meant to put it under them. Because <laughs> I can't get it off. <laughs> so, I'm going to go to my Colour Pop liner in pinch, which is really predictable considering we're doing a yellow look. Shake my eye. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go down into both cup. Okay, to the tight line. So I'm going to attempt to do some brown liner, but I don't know if it'll work. because it's not going to work. I don't have that much transfer today so I have got a black waterline now. <laughs> so we just roll with it and make it black anyway. Not that it'll stay there very long, because it never does. I'm thinking I might go in with this curl as my bronzer today. My contour. Contour bronzer. It's quite warm, so... But it's going to be a bronzer rather than a contour, I think. So I just swap brushes. A little fluffier brush. If I can pick any up on it. colour. <laughs> I don't think you'd get away with it if you were a yellow skin tone. So brushes away quite a lot. I'm going to powder brush over it. Okay. And then just to be different, 
go in with the totally bugging colour and kind of use that as a blush because, you know, why not? And a little bit of sweet spot. My blush is definitely weird. <laughs> and I'm not going to use it as my highlighter because I had all the mats and a glitter, so <laughs> that didn't work very well. So I'm going to use my Revolution Shimmering Highlighter Palette in Pineapple because it fits with the theme. And go in with the pineapple fit for my inner corner because it's exactly the right colour that I want. Maybe a bit on my brow bone. And then I'm going to swirl them around for my highlighter. Life's a peach one, it may be too light. So, this, but we'll see how we go. Because it's just not quite doing it for me with the yellow. Yeah, I just needed something a bit more. <laughs> it's doing it. Mm, it smells nice still. <laughs> I'd forgotten that had a nice smell. And then I'm going to spray my face. I'm going to go back into my highlighter and I'm going to go back into the pineapple. everywhere. Never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Do my mascara. And on my lips I just used my Rimmel Karen, no not Karen sorry, my Rimmel Kate in number 43. Just kind of a nude orange kind of colour and that is my final look so glitter everywhere it's all trans very not but it's no <laughs> but it's very um yellow and bright and cheerful so if glitters weren't a problem that is actually really pretty glitter because when it catches the light it shows orange shimmers so it's yellow with kind of orangey shimmers it's actually really pretty so i was watching that girl shay xo and she was showing how she got her glitters off because um she'd had some comments about oh don't put the glitters on your eyes and so when she did a swatch video for her eye video she didn't put it on her eyes she put it on her wrist and then she had people say oh, I'd much rather see it on your eyes so she couldn't win either way so instead she stuck it on her eyes and then she showed how she got it off and she used a piece of tape cello tape and um took it off so she showed how to do that so I think I might try doing that when I take this off 
because I always end up with glitter over my eyes otherwise. <laughs> so here is my look and I'm wondering whether Angie and Nona get heads or tails and what they will do because unless, as I said unless they do it in a really weird way I think if you've got heads you've got a couple of shimmers to play with you've got three shimmers and one matte if you get tails you've got one two three four mattes and one glitter so <laughs> I, I wonder what they will get so now they'll play with it so we called our our um collaboration for this series three continents one palette because we're all in different continents i'm in new zealand and nona is in um the US and Angie is in England so we're spread around but we've all come together for the love of makeup and colour and um, through YouTube so that's really cool and please go and check out their channels and I'll put their channels down below and see what they do with this challenge and if you've got any ideas for another challenge because um, we're, we're working through all the palettes we all own collectively and we've done as I said, we've done a few. We did one where we had to use every colour in there, and then this one where we um, were using even or odd numbers. And... But if you've got any ideas about some challenges we could do with a single colour palette, then drop it in the description box, and that way it'll help us out because sometimes it's hard to come up with all the different ideas. <laughs> And um, please check out Nona and Andy. They um, are very creative and I'm sure they will do something really interesting and different from me, which is what I love because we all have quite different styles and we do different things. And go check out some of their other videos and you will, you will really enjoy them if you're not watching them already. So I will see you next time and thanks for watching everyone. Bye.